Oh. You okay? Yeah. Do we have any? Do you want to? Where in the world? Where in the world are we going Around today? Around the world. Wow, we're going all the way to Ipswich, Lewis. <laughs> oh. Wow. Well, I guess it's there's a lot of things that aren't going to be done. It's not going to be about guns. It's not going to be about monkeys. It's not going to be about food, probably. No. It might be about something falling down. I don't know what Ipswich is even famous for. I guess this story. Yeah. Can't think of anything else. Not being Norwich. Yeah, it's not Norwich. That's true. That's all I know about Ipswich. Yeah. I think that's what they have in their tourism things. Ipswich. It's not Norwich. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's not got much else. What is the news from Ipswich? The news is that they've built Noah's Ark in Ipswich. That's quite big news. It's very large news. And also the very implication large. is that, you know, maybe a great flood will come. I didn't know Ipswich was on the coast. I thought it was a bit inland. That's a bit of a concern. I thought it was like a... I didn't know it was a... Google Maps. I, Maps. I'm assuming it has some sort of river Ipswich. system. But I didn't, I didn't think it was on the coast. Um, the River Orwell. Okay. Is that, does that exit to the sea? Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. So but it is a port, I guess it's of. the North Sea, kind of. Okay. Just about. It is just about... On the sea. That's good to know. What about Norwich? No, see, that's inland. That's what I was thinking of. It's, it's that's why I've land got, bound. That's why I've got confused. Ipswich, though, with a, a river and a channel leading out to the sea. Perfect place for a Noah's Ark, I think. It is. You know, float that by bad boy out there. What's what, what? How big is it? It's very large. Oh, it is big. Two point six million pound. Biblical Museum, owned by Dutch TV producer Ard Peters. Ard Peters. Ard Peters. Ard Peters. <laughs> Peters. A Peter being, you know, another name for a penis. Peter. Is it? Yeah. There's so many names for Peters. Ard Peters. Is, that a, is, this, is his name a joke? No. It's very serious. What's happened to the Noah's Ark? And why is it in the news? Um, it's in the news because it's not seaworthy. Right. It's, it's, Isn't that the one requirement? Like, it's built well, on... Well, there's two, I guess. It's two built... requirements. One, it's big enough to hold two of all animals. Yeah. And two, it's a fucking ark. <laughs> it is seaworthy. It's a boat. It has yeah. to be a boat. And so it's not seaworthy. No. And so it's been impounded. Yeah, I'm not sure how you can impound a ship of that size. I guess you put though. a clamp... On clamp on what? The on a rudder or something. The rudder. Yeah. You clamp the rudder. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Bloody <laughs> boat's been impounded. Uh, it's got one of those fucking lock things on the, the steering wheel thing. But it's what's the steering wheel of a ship called? The helm. The the wheel. Yeah, whatever. The steering wheel. It's got one of those fucking big old metal locks on it, so you can't turn it. The what's it called? The thing with the handles on it. The the, the Navigatron. That's what it's called. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it's called. The Navigatron. What's happened to all the animals? Shot. <laughs> I don't think it had animals on board. I think it might have had fake animals. Fanimals. Um, <laughs> As they're board. known. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, yes. Rubberized animals. Um, and two of, two of every th of them. All of them. So quite a lot. Did I tell you my theory about Noah's oh, Ark? Oh, God. Okay. Right. Because a lot of people say... It's aliens. No. Oh. How did Noah's Ark get all of the animals on it if there's, like, hundreds of thousands of different animals uh, now? One of the big things, it wasn't two of every animal. There were different numbers of different kinds of animals. So, you know, there were more birds or, or more mammals. And, and so there were, like, varying numbers. So it wasn't just two of each. It was, like, four of some of these and half a dozen of, of these kinds of animals. I so there's even more animals than you would think. Right. I didn't even know. That's a little bonus fact about Noah's Ark. Yeah. That it wasn't even two. That was just a misconception. But what's your, what's your theory? Because this, this is going to be fucking weird, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to brace myself. Well, okay, what's your weird-ass theory? You know theory? how, when you put a lot of people together, 
for some reason, like at the Olympics or at a convention. People get ill. Well, maybe, but also they all bang each other. Right, the Olympics. Jesus Christ, okay. The Olympics are right. just a bangathon. Apparently, all the athletes are like in their prime of life, they're young, they're, they're like ready to go. They're all yeah. banging each other, right? And all across disciplines as well. You've got like long jumpers banging. Did they ever put darts? Is darts in it this year? I, I think it is. I don't think so, no. no. Darts and skateboarding. No, da- skateboarding is, but darts yeah. isn't. Did you see the video of the guy hitting, you know, fucking his balls up by going into the railing? No, the I Olympics. haven't, I haven't seen funny. that. But, Very funny. Um, I'm sure it's great. Uh, the point is that you've got all of this kind of cross-disciplinary banging, you know, where yeah. gun people are banging right. t- long people, whatever. Long right? people and gun people. Imagine Noah's Ark. Right. There were originally, back in Bible times, oh. a load of animals. You stuck them all together on a boat with nothing to do. I see. Is your idea is that they only had, like, a few of different kinds of animals. Back Over then, time, they crossbred. That's right. So... Giraffes came about because horses and snakes. snakes. Yep, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. And zebras were from horses, horses again. And stripy and snakes something, something with stripy. short, short strips. I don't know what the original <laughs> stripy animal was that banged the horse, but we can probably figure it out. Yeah, I think it's quite prolific because there's a lot of stripy animals around. Yes. There's, stripes are all over the place in nature. Also, look at all the different kinds of dogs we've got. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Jesus, that was just a pile of... That's a different story. Okay. In the Bible. The Jesus <laughs> one. That's later. The New Testament. Yeah. Okay. This is back, this is old before right. then. So, so that's, your, so that's your theory. Well, yeah, because all humans come from Noah's family, right? Yeah. Who were banging each other. So Noah, Noah's wife and his sons. Yes. And the sons and the wife. And, and Noah. And all of us came from there. From there. Right. But originally we came from well, just but two people. As you may have recognised, so, some all this is real, people didn't have are kind of look a bit like an animal as well. Because they always this say is that... part of your theory. They always say that people look like they're pets. Right. Right, you have like Oh, a, and it's because... Their pet had sex with their dad, and that's why the person. Or, like or some part of his, right. some part of history. Okay. I like to think about things. You sure do. I do. I like to think about things. Right. Or just try and get into the head of someone who doesn't think about things very much. I just. I just I've, makes grand I assumptions. This, I have this thing stuck in my head, right, and I have. You know, Noah and most of the people of that period, you know, from the Middle East, probably quite brown of skin, of tone. Sure. And Jesus didn't probably look like, you know, Father Christmas. Or I, don't, I don't want to get into the other races too much because I'll get cancelled. But certainly was Noah on the ark and he saw a very pale, not hairy animal of some description. Right. <laughs> And that's how white people came around. I see. Like a swan. A swan! <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Noah and a swan, and, and that's how but we, there's also, we came. But there's also black swans, aren't there? So yeah, maybe the sure. swans were the, the, the source of all the colours of the rainbow that we have amongst yeah. humanity today. I mean, sure. This, if we leave it at that, I think we're fine. Yeah. Yeah. They had, I think we're safe. They figured that. this out thousands Swans. of years ago and been, go, we, you know, been going with it ever since. Yeah. You know, simple. Makes sense. All from swans. That's amazing. Yeah. And that's part of the theory that you've had this whole time. Yeah, I mean, it's not so much a theory as uh, a stupid idea. Okay. That yeah. I quite like because it's so stupid. I like, I like stupid stuff. I mean, I, li- I like the idea that Noah was an alien. Yeah. Well, he had a jetpack. He, he why landed did he... on Earth. No, and but... he was like, okay, I've got to find some trees stat. Why? Because there's going to be a flood. How did he know? God told him. God told God the alien? 
isn't actually a god. God is the name of his mate, who is also an alien, right. who has the telescope. It's quite an alien name, actually. It is. It? God. God. So god. He had the no, telescope. Uh, god was I the am going to Earth. Be <laughs> careful, there be flood. Okay, God. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> Quick, make sure you get one of all animal or two. And one then... of all animal? That's not going to be any good, is it? <laughs> actually, well, actually, according to your theory, it would be fine. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, yeah. I just like thinking back to what would be those original animals that were on the ark. You know, cause the we, animals we have now wouldn't resemble those original animals in any way. No, I wouldn't think so, no. So a rhinoceros. Okay, that's a weird-ass animal. Well, how did that come around? How did we get a rhinoceros? Well, a horse. A horse. Always a horse. <laughs> and a swan. <laughs> Why not? It's always them. <laughs> well, it, cause it's horse and the... a swan. Baby was born. The horse like looks at the swan. The swan looks at the horse. They're like... <laughs> 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 well, no, that's a different animal. And they Ooh. loved, and they loved, they that loved each other. Yeah, they and all loved each other. They loved each yeah. other very much, and that's that's the beauty of nature. God, nature's They're... fucking fantastic, isn't it? God, it is. God, what was this story? So no, that was the our coast con- guard. Unfortunately, it's been impounded. Yeah, the coast guard it's, have impounded it's got, it um, for a year and a half. It's got tickets on the front of it. It's taken. It's got five hundred a day. Fines coming wow, on. Wow, that's going to really rack up, isn't it? A yeah. year and a half, five hundred pound a day. That's at least two grand. The coast, the coast guard found a range of issues, yeah, including overdue services for life-saving equipment. What does that mean? Overdue services for life-saving equipment. They haven't installed any of these things, right? I guess. There's no life jackets or fire kit or lifeboats. I mean, you think they should have like some sort of like anti-fire thing, given the whole thing's made of fucking wood. Yeah, it's an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, because the dragons. Wait, what? They would just catch it on fire straight I... away. But they, maybe they knew that, and so they chucked the dragons overboard, and that's why we ain't got dragons today. I think they would have caught the ark on fire. Yeah. It's good thinking. They were smart. And Our then, ancestors. And then they saw the Our uni- great, 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 great grandpapa. What Noah. happened to the unicorns, though? Like, how did they just fall off? Maybe, like, you know, the lady unicorn fell off and the male just. The like, horn just despair. moved. The horn just moved around, I think. Oh, God. It was, it was a bad idea having it on the head. And now it's between the legs. Well. You said it, not me. Uh, well, look. It's I, not a boat. It's a non-certified floating object. Is that what Ard Peters says? Yeah. Right. And, they, and the Coast Guard were like, we don't care. What if there's a fire? Look at it, mate. It's a boat, clearly. Yeah, look at it. It's a boat. It's, it's not a non-certifiable a floating object. Is it? Well, that would be an alien. That would be like a UFO. Except it would be a it's an NCFO. Hmm. Unidentified floating object. I like that. That's like for the aliens under the sea. Or for like really weird turds. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I didn't do it. But I haven't eaten sweet corn in the last three months. <laughs> Where did that come from? from? I'm the only one who lives in this house. Oh my God. And then I like look over at my cats and they're like, (laughs) where did you get sweet corn? (laughs) It's their other family. Yeah, the other family that feeds them. Yeah, there's probably like four or five other families that feed them. Oh, they could be. They've all got their own names for them. Yeah. Cats have got like multiple personalities, I swear. What would they be called? Because they're Carly like, and Meckins. But that's not even their original names. Their original names were like Dolph and Sonia. No. Oh. Dolph. Dolph. After Dolph Lund- Lundgren. Lundgren. The old, um... And Sonia after Bridget Nielsen's character of Red Sonia. Christ, how old were, the, were their fucking family before? Those references are ancient. Dolph Lundgren? The, the action hero from the 80s? Yeah. He wasn't even an action hero. He was kind of a bad guy. He'd die hard, wasn't he, and something? Dolph was 
much like yourself, a chemist. A sidekick, oh. <laughs> he has a master's degree in chemistry. Wow. Molecular chemistry, I think. Yeah, that's a rubbish one. Um, and he, because he's a large man, he was employed as a bodyguard to Grace Jones, the actress. And then he got into acting just as, you know, because he's a Because he was hanging around. Large they man. were like you. Yeah. You look scary and threatening. Do you want to be a bad guy? And then he was He Man. Okay. In the He Man Masters of the Universe movie, which was one of the, you know, biggest flops in film history and destroyed canon. Have you seen any of the new Netflix He Man? No. It's, it's really bad. Kevin apparently. Smith wrote it, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it's great. Um, let's move on from the stupid boat story. It's a good hell. story, Lewis. It's a good story. It is about a good story. A so what's going to happen? We don't know. They're, they're going to they have to get their registration documents. Well, you know what's going to happen, right? Obvious. It's racking up loads of debt. It's been impounded. There's no fire equipment on board. The guy's obviously going to arson it and then claim it on insurance. And well, by the guy, I mean any mysterious person, because I'm not alleging that anyone in particular would, would burn no. down Noah's Ark. Yeah. But oh, do you know what? It's nice that it's there, just in case. Is it though? We saw a picture of it. It's ugly as fuck. It's horrible. It and it's not shit. seaworthy. Yeah. Well, but it's nice that it's there. It is nice, nice because what else has Norwich got? Oh, not Norwich, Ipswich. What else has Ipswich got? Nothing. Nothing. Norwich, it's got um, mustard and Allen partridge. Mm -hmm. And it would have been the base of the Nazis, the new capital of um, an, an England occupied by the Nazis. That's really sad. Ipswich, what claim to fame has it got? An ark that isn't even a boat. Yeah, sad, isn't it? But Pretty sad. nice that it's there. You but it is know. nice that it's there. It is nice, otherwise. I don't believe that I'm going to nice. sleep more soundly knowing that if there is an apocalyptic flood, we'll at least be able to squeeze a few cats and dogs in there and push them off into the North Sea. Is that your idea of... So... Well, how many animals do you think they have on hand so in Norwich? Every time it starts pissing down with rain uh, in the office, do you start like, fuck, I better, I better get to fucking Ipswich. Get on the boat. Normally I like things that have witch on the end. Yeah. Boba? Boba witch? Sandwich? <laughs> Um, Boba standing on sandwich? Mm, not so much. Um, she does do that, you know. She makes peanut butter sandwich and then she stands on it to flatten it because it tastes nicer. Yeah, some people, up, some people like the squashed bread. Breadiness. It's kind of messed up, if you ask me. It's a bit fucked up. Why bit not just use like already like flat bread? There's plenty of different... Like pita bread or something. Yeah. Well, it's a that? unique sort of taste though, isn't it? On the old so squashed it's bread. It's weird. Some people like it. How do you feel about a banana sandwich? With a little bit of sugar on it. No. Banana See? in a sandwich. Well, you can't knock it till you tried it. Banana like bread is it. nice. It's not really a banana sandwich though, is it? No, but I wanted to sort of what try and find a middle ground. A banana and could... ready salted crisp sandwich. What I've had that before. Fuck? Let's try it. What is your stance? Okay. It's kind of... <laughs> Cross legs, cross legs, looking like a little goblin. Yeah, <laughs> yeah generally. Okay. Are you no, no, okay. no, there is there's more. There is more. Okay. So it's it's morning. You've gotten out of bed. Mm. Yeah. You know, you drink some glass of drink some glass. <laughs> drink some water from a glass. <laughs> <laughs> Blood just sprays <laughs> out your throat. <laughs> No, not yeah. this again. <laughs> what do we do this every morning? Ah! You drink some water from a glass. You're like, hmm, I feel like a spot of breakfast. You make a cup of tea. You make some toast. You butter the toast. You pick up a slice. You slice it diagonally. You dip it in the tea. And then you eat it. Mm -hmm. What is your stance on, on that as an act? Dipping toast in tea. I'm, I'm okay with it as a, as a British man. I'm okay with dipping savoury things in tea. I'm a bit concerned about the, the buttery, oily residue that will be yes. left on top of the tea. Yes. But that's just a nice little treat for the next sip of tea. 
Oh, you can see for the next person. You're already putting milk in the tea anyway. Yeah. And the butter is not that far Do away. Do you even have milk in tea? I've well, never I would seen do. I have oat milk in tea. Okay. But we don't have any in the fridge, so I've just got just yeah. brown water with a tea bag in it's it. It's not fruity tea, is it? No, it's just chai. It actually has a little joke on it. Oh, a joke. Oh, Jesus. It says, it's a quote from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh. It says, is there any tea on this spaceship? Yeah, you're right. That's not a joke, is Douglas it? Douglas Adams. It's, it's not a joke. A quote. No, it's little. Yeah. It's just a little quote. Mm. It's like a, a cracker joke. Yeah. Some people might crack a smile. A little warming hitchhiker's I reference. Think maybe a, a sort of don't knowing, forget your towel. I think a knowing chuckle. <laughs> yeah, a nod, a little internal nod. <laughs> yeah. So no, my stance is I'm fine with it. I'm okay. not going to judge you for that. That's all right. And accept a, a, a nice piece of. Quality toast and butter is a fine breakfast, starting breakfast snack. So I think I, I, there was a poll I did. I did a stream and I was like, oh, dipping, anyone dip toast in a tea? And, I, and then I was like, okay, I'm going to do a poll. And I think it was only 17% of people. We're okay with it. Yeah, 83% were well, no. I think that's, that was what it was. Said you should be shot. Yeah, they were very unhappy. A lot of people were very, very people unhappy. Very opinionated. People are very opinionated. They need to chill the fuck out. I think the primary to have concern a is the butter. The butter floating around, making yeah, I mean, that's uh, the uh, tea wheel. I, well, I, I flagged it as a problem, yeah. but I just, I just bypassed it. I don't usually have that much butter. On, I'm quite a thin butterer. Yeah, yeah, you seem like it. You do. Yeah, I don't mm. like to, to, to put thick butter on. No, no. I get it right up the edges, though. I hate people who don't. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? You've got to get the butter all up to the edges. You can't just have really dry crusts. No. It's madness. I'm not a fan. But I will like the crusts if they've got a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Not a lot. But I guess, you know, if it's too dry, the crusts, just dip them in your tea. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm a big fan of the just any, dipping anything in tea. You know, most things will, I think, will dip in tea fine. Marshmallows, dip those in there. You ever dipped your, you know, your well, what? in the tea? You know, maybe it's a cold a morning. Finger. Yeah, just maybe it's a cold morning. Just to test how warm it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't want to burn myself. No. Well, yeah, I've, from time to time. Oh, you have? Okay. Yeah, just wow. to see what it's like. You know, Every morning British he does man. this. Every morning. Whew. Wakes up, drinks a glass, puts his... Dangus. Is Bepis. Is Bepis in a, pep a Pepis? Is Burnus. It'll be Burnus after I've put it in my tea. It'll be very it's scolded. Sure. Yes. Um, what is another story. the next story that you've dug up for us? Well, there's this one about a ghost. Oh, good. That's classic peculiar portions. We haven't done a ghost story in like ages. I think, you know, months. we don't want to just save it up for um, Halloween because I, you know, I like it being a bit spooky all year. Yeah. I, that is terrifying. I love a ghost story. That's an, there's an actual picture of it and it is a, a woman the in a white dress. The CCTV image of this ghost has baffled security. So it's a building site and the builders saw this, a ghostly figure of a, a bride. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. It actually looks like a shitty building site with those metal, like, like fences, those to, to, you, removable fences, you know, you see yeah. them all over the place. And some, like, breeze box and ladders lying around. And there's clearly, that's an actual person who's definitely there. Yeah, there's definitely a... Now, this, to me, doesn't look like a CCTV image, first of all. Right. They say it is, but it's taken from, like, an angle of someone who's holding a phone. You know what I mean? You think there's, I mean, the CCTV, you'd think you'd have it quite high up looking down, and this is like a sort of head height or even lower. Yeah. But it is looking at their materials. So, you know, in case people are like. Their materials? Steal. What? What are they going to steal? Yeah, yeah, people might steal, you know. They're more likely to steal the camera than the shit which that's is on the true, floor. That's true, actually. <laughs> that's true. There's a big problem stealing of, uh, CCTV cameras. So they often have. CCTV cameras pointed at the CCTV cameras <laughs> to make sure that's no really smart. Yeah. So it's just a series of CCTV cameras in a circle. Other, yeah. Well, you know, you've got to protect your stuff for insurance purposes. So this was in Birmingham? Oh, yeah. 
where Tom, where Bates, Tom's from. Yeah, Tom, Thomas yeah. Bates. Do you know anything about this? I hadn't heard of it. Yeah. Hadn't, hadn't heard of it. This is recent. Yeah. Very, this is hot news. Oh, no, it's not. It's from a year ago. From a year ago. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I saw August and I thought, oh, that's now. But oh, no. Is this just going to be... Just, just there we go. A okay. photograph of the supposed ghostly apparition has left many scratching their heads over <gasps> whether it is genuine or a hoax. <clears throat> well, hmm. Do you know what it feels like to me? What? A hoax. <laughs> no, it it's real. It's a looks real like, ghost. It looks like someone has put their wedding dress on and taken a picture there. Yeah, but it's like the and dead of night, creepy. Lewis. Who's going around in the dead of night? People on a Hindu a or people on a, on a do on night. They oh. get, walking past the building site thinking, oh, it'd be good if we took a picture of you walking creepily through there. So this is like a bride-to-be in her wedding dress at her Hindu. Why would she wear a wedding dress at the Hindu? That's just an accident waiting to happen. What if it gets wine on? I think she has. That's why it's all red at the bottom. Oh, my God. I thought that was blood. She tried to wash it off, but... No, Is there even a story the to go with this of like, oh, you know, 20 years ago, this building site was a church mm -hmm. and a bride got hacked to death with an axe at the altar. But the priest got mixed up the wedding day and the funeral and the bride was buried and the corpse was married to the groom. Oh my God! Dun, dun, dun. That would be good, but no, uh, it was nothing like that. It's just an old building site. So this was like two in the morning. Wow. She was there. Three minutes later, security responded to someone being on the CCTV. Right. They looked around. They couldn't see anyone, um, and they couldn't see any sign of anyone having ever been there. Which, what, what, what does that mean? Footprints? What were they? Well, it looks like no one's ever been here. Yeah, but it's a building site. So people have been <laughs> there. Clearly the people. builders have been there. Oh, there's loads of, yeah, there's people here now. Maybe they checked to see, you know, maybe there's a gate and the gate was still locked or something. This is, this is, it's not a mystery. I mean, it's not like a, it's not like an Agatha Christie. It's not like a, it's not good, but it's cool. I like the prank. It the feels like someone's done a good prank on the old builders. Walk through a building site in a creepy dress. That doesn't really seem to be much detail. But I mean, she got lit up by the flash. Do you see what I mean, of the photography? I'm just poking holes in this picture. Right. Look at the lighting. Well, I think the CCTV camera would have like a light next to it so they could actually see, you know, any, any thieves. So it's also a light. Thieves? Well, I guess that's why it's there, for thieves. And what they are they like... thieving? The building materials. We've been through this. What? Who is coming in the to a building there. site to steal the cameras? Licking bags of fucking sand. Brides, I guess. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so obvious. It's a thief dressed as a ghost. What? The thief dresses as a ghost. They scout out the area and then they leave to see if there was anything worth stealing, right? So it's just, it's just them casing the joint, as it were. But they're dressed as a ghost, so when they review the footage, they're like, oh my god, it's a ghost, not, oh my god, it's a thief dressed as a ghost. So are you it's saying if he was crime. wearing like a stripy jumper on a beanie hat, they'd yeah. be like, well, it's a thief. Yeah, obviously. But instead they're like, Arnold, you dress up as a bride ghost, and go in there and scout the joint. Yeah, And then obviously. you've gone in there and you've come back. Was there anything good in there? Like, no, well, just a few shitty CCTV cameras. That was all. <laughs> well, what did we expect? It was a building site. You know, I did the weird floating thing past it so it looked good on the photo to really spook him. Hovering six inches above <laughs> the ground. <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> How did he do that, though? It is a good shot. It's a good image. I like it. Because it looks like she's... It looks like a she. It looks like, yeah, she, and it does look like she's sort of floating. And sort of screaming, maybe, as well. <coughs> like that. It is, it is baffling. But, yeah. again, I have questions, and I feel like they need answers. Well, I know what it is. It's obviously a thief dressed as a ghost. So obvious. And I think that's what all ghosts are now. It's like Scooby-Doo. 
you know, it's the caretaker dressed as a ghost. You know? Why was he dressed as a ghost? Why are they, why, why are they all dressed as ghosts? Because there's a gold mine underneath, you know, the old museum. And so he dresses as a ghost to, to scare, scare away. away. Yeah, and so... then they'll close the museum because they don't get any visitors. And then, you know, he'll have access to the gold mine and steal the gold. I see. So there's always some sort of motive. Yeah. Anywhere there's a ghost, it's a thief. So there's something valuable. So what you should do is look for where there are ghost sightings. And then get dig your, up. Yeah, get dig your big it, bag around. Of, your empty bag that says swag on the side. Go there. No. Dress you up as a ghost. Dress as a ghost. <laughs> The perfect crime! <laughs> and then oh my God! Scout it out. And then they see more ghost sightings. Maybe that's why there's, you know, particular places where there's just a, a massive amount of ghost sightings. It's all just thieves. And they see that there are ghosts there. They're like, oh, I know. Yeah, they do what we do. They dress as ghosts. They've had the same conversation we've had. They look around. They're like, well, we can't really see anything. And then more people come and more people come. And then the twist is the first thief that ever was there wasn't actually a thief. It was a real ghost. Right. Of a thief. <laughs> Just as a ghost. Who died when they were looking. They got axed to death for 20 the years ago. <sighs> no. But... It's like a chicken and the egg. What came first? Was it... The ghost or the thief? The ghost of the thief or the thief looking for the ghost treasure? Maybe there's just always been ghost thieves. Throughout history. Throughout all of history. In Birmingham building sites. Yeah. Is that true, Tom? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Got heard it from the horse's mouth. Yeah. Don't call him a horse. It's rude. More like a gerbil. <laughs> Lewis. Yes, I'm here. Interesting fact about me. I've got no valid photo ID at the moment. My passport's ran out. I can't... I don't know where my old driving licence is, but that's probably ran out. How do I know this, this is you, then? There's no way of proving who I am, so I've got to get some passport photos. Are you saying done. that you're, you, you could be someone else? I could, how do you know? There's no way to prove... I'm a bit worried prove. now. I can't prove that I'm... I haven't seen you for quite a while, so I'm... Sky, Simon, Simon Blaine. Blaine? Lane? Lane? Yes. Well, you, that's... Mm. It is you, then, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is me. It that is was me. easy. I think we could identify you by your um, weird, <laughs> your weirdness. Thanks. You're welcome. Your Thanks. peculiarities, maybe, I Ooh. should have said. That's very your on particular brand. Peculiar. <laughs> What's happened? What's why? Why are you telling me this? Well, because there's a news story about a woman who has a terrible photo ID for her driving license. It's, it's not an embarrassing one, like... All know, of them. She didn't... You know, right before she went to have her photo taken, she was about to walk into the DMV and a bird shit on her face. <laughs> and the photo is her, but with bird shit on her face. Right. No. no. She didn't have a bad hair day. Right. A bad hair day. So, you She didn't know. have, like... She didn't, like, walk... Like, she was on her phone, she walked into a lamppost and get a black oh, eye or something like that. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. She didn't, no, you know, no. have like she put. She had some new lipstick. She put it on, and then the flash of the camera made the lipstick look like tartan or purple or something, an odd color. Like green screened it out. Yeah, and also like the blush on her face looks weird. And basically, she looks like a clown. I'm sure there's all of this. Yeah, probably all of that. But, all of that stuff has happened. But her photo is particularly weird because she she picked up her new driving license with the the photo, and she's not in the photo. It's just the empty chair. <laughs> okay. and, and that got printed on her photo ID. So if she gets pulled over by a cop, you know, she parks up, you know, she finds somewhere safe to park, pulls up, you know, puts it into park on the old, whatever, automatic gear stick thing that they have in America. Excuse me, ma'am. You know, he, he, he knocks ding, on the ding, window. Ding, ding. Yeah. Please roll the window down. Oh. What is it, officer? What's the problem? I'm afraid you've got a tail light out and also you uh, ran a red light back there. Could you pass me oh, your driving sorry, license? I was, I was on my phone. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, well, sorry. 
It's all right. Let me just license some registration, please. Oh, sure. Let me just... I'm just reaching for it in the glove box. I don't have a gun. <laughs> I swear. That's all right, ma'am. Oh, I do have a gun in here. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, here you go, officer. Oh, wow. It is this side, isn't it? Yeah. Is this an old photo, ma'am? Um... Why do you ask? Well, I mean... Sorry, I'm American. Why do you ask? Well, you're looking rather wooden in this picture. What kind of chair do you think they have in the DMV? A wooden... What, like a dining chair? It was a... It was... <laughs> you're looking rather stiff in this picture. Well, I was a bit nervous. I was a bit nervous. <laughs> I forget about the accent. Are you sure you have an imp- this does, I'm not sure this is you, ma'am. Are you sure this oh, isn't Well, a, I don't declare you. Are you sure this isn't a picture of your husband? No, that's definitely me. Because I can see him in the seat next to you. <laughs> it's, a, it's not a seat. Oh, my God. Do you God. get it? It's the a chair. Empty chair. Chair. Oh, right. You mean Sorry. in the seat in the car next to you, yeah. which is empty. Right. Jesus, that's I, terrible. I, I'm, that struggle, was bad. I'm str struggling that was to know bad. where to go with this. I mean... It Get out the car, mate. <laughs> and he pulls out his gun. That's where... That's where right, that's what you... I was yeah. trying to avoid any kind of... Ex I was... No. I was deliberately de-escalating that gonna fake prison. event that She's we were acting prison. out. I was trying not to cause any kind of gun-related... Um... Look, you can see Jade Christine Dodd is her full name. She's five foot three inches. Oh. Her eyes are bro. Oh. <laughs> and she is a Class D. Right. That's what it says. Class D, end none. Eyes bro. <laughs> Rest O one. one Yeah. Sex F. It's just a chair. The picture is just, just a chair, chair. with yeah. a blue background. <clears throat> there is some sort of ghostly emanation, though. Yeah. In the chair, which I can't help notice because we are doing the Simon's Peculiar Portions. It happens to be a lot creepy. They're weird. Yeah, Little sometimes. supernatural things that go on. We just catch. They just catch because we're tuned in. We are. We're, we're tuned to into the supernatural. The, you know, we've, we've to the got, occult. Uh, our third eyes are open. Um, Fourth eyes as well. Yeah, that's our anuses. Or oh, ain't I. As the ain't I, we yeah. call them. Yeah. And we can see things that other people can't. That's true. That's true. Or that they should have done. <laughs> oh, Simon, you're tuning in now. I tune. To the other plane. There's oh. something flying around the room, Lewis. <laughs> There's something flying around the room. It's a spirit! The spirit is here! Does it want to speak to us, Simon? It does. does. It, what does it, it want has, to tell us? It's... Is there anyone here that knows a Greg? Greg, Greg, Greg. Does anyone here know a Greg? Greg, Greg's! Yes, I went to a Greg's for lunch! That's right, that's right. The spirit is telling me you went to Greg's for lunch. How does it know? And you had a vegan sausage roll? I did! Oh my god. What was wrong with the vegan sausage roll? What did it need to tell you? Was it poisoned? It was cold. It was. It was cold. Because well, you didn't want to pay extra to so have it, it hot. It was lukewarm. Because you have to pay VAT, VAT if you have a hot product from a Greg's. But cold, you save the 20%. That's what the spirit's telling me. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it a spirit of a uh, tax lawyer? Yes, <laughs> because yes it is. That's convenient. Could you ask him about um, whether or not we need to pay um, stamp duty on No, the we don't. We don't. After the 31st of August. Also, it's telling me, have you filled in your RJ45? No! Oh, spirits, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Yeah. Do I need to uh, duplicate, to do it in tr duplicate or triplicate? Yes. Okay. The spirit um, is saying yes. Do you know the... Do you know the address? Do you, actually, do you, know, do you know the reference number I need to use? Uh, uh, 69 LOL. Okay. Thank you, spirits. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Right. Goodbye. Be nice.
Goodbye now. Goodbye. The spirit's gone. It's left us, Lewis. That's, left us. That's that's a relief. Wow, what a, what a moving and emotional moment for us. That was touching the Could beyond. Could you not see it? Could you not hear no, it? No, I couldn't. I was you were you were channeling through you. Oh my god. The yeah. Do you not ever see ghosts? Never. No. But I thought you I'm were not... tuned. So what's your what what are you tuned into? I'm tuned into spirits. I well I, I prefer beer or cider. You, well, that's not really... They're not spirits, are they? No. You should have said gin if you were going to make right. that joke, really. You kind of fucked that one up, didn't you? I'm, I I sometimes see... We'll edit, very uh, rarely... We'll edit that out, shall we? No, we, we can, can leave it. just do it again. No. I'm giving you a chance. You can do it again. We'll leave it. It'll be really funny. I'll okay. fake laugh to it. I'm tuned in to gin. <laughs> I sometimes see, very rarely, every six months, this bearded figure yeah. will come to my place of work, creep in. Oh my God, does it make any like really weird noises? Yeah, really yeah. weird. Eats all of the, the snacks. Oh yeah, it does. Snuffles around. It loves those, those potato air snacks. Yeah, and yeah. Um, flops itself down. And yeah. I engage in conversation with it. I really? try and bring it out of its shell That's amazing. and extract milk, if you like. Oh, content Com- comedy milk. content. Yeah, yeah. Content milk, I call yeah. it. Yeah, it's very Kilt. thick and creamy. Creamy. I yeah. suck on it. I Ooh, suck it all what down. A treat. I share it with you. Oh, the del- the delicious Is listener. Is that called snowballing or snow dropping? I think it's snow dropping. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds horrible. Yeah. Uh, and we all get to sample some of that. Yeah. Mmm. Together. Well, there you go. That was, uh, that was peculiar. It certainly was. Um, the story about the DMV photo, not quite so peculiar. No. Weird more peculiar. Just weird. Yeah. And I like it. I like weird. You do. We love it. Thanks. You're welcome. Prego. What? No, sorry, it's just wind. (laughs) It's Italian for your welcome. Oh, Pre- okay. Prego. Right. I just felt like it. it's wind, though, is it? Maserati. Linguini. <laughs> oh, la pasta, penne pasta. Ba ba da ba da ba da ba ba de ba do pide. Bye.